Greetings and salutations to you people of the interwebs. So, TF Nation, it's been, and it's gone. Gone, baby, gone. Solid gone. It seems like, in a blink of an eye, I don't know, it's been a weird one this year. Um, and it always goes quickly. It's always like that build-up and anticipation. And then it's just chaos in shoes. And... It goes. It just goes. So, um, I don't know. It's just felt like it's been really quick. Don't feel like I managed to talk to as many people as I wanted to and talk to people I wanted to talk to <laughs> for not as long as I wanted to talk to them too, if you catch my drift. Um, I think maybe it's just getting old, really. Um wasn't um up as late as usual uh got out of bed later than usual so all in all so i think i think that dramatically cut on the uh, di uh convention time i'm a lot slower on my feet as i used to be so even getting around the place um took some time so it's kind of yeah everything's taken its toll and it seems to have gone quicker than it Actually, it was even though I was there on the Thursday from the Thursday Thursday crew for life, motherfuckers. Um, this video is not for people under the age of sixteen. It's, some pe sleeping people are still banging on that, that. Like YouTube still gives a shit. Come on, right? Mmm. It's been good, and I, I think a special thanks to the crew who organize it they do a splendid job sometimes i always agree with you know decisions on who they bring and what panels they do and what times they do panels and stuff like that but there wouldn't be a convention without them and there would not be this um sense of community and belongings at the convention without them so you know, that's that's something we need, you know, we need to applaud, applaud for the hard work they do. I'd also like to shout out, you know, a couple of, of the YouTubers, um, Nolsey, uh, Soundwave SG1, The Gaunts. I think what you've done this year uh, in your pre-TF Nation videos, you've really kind of builds up the hype and I think you should be applauded for it um even though cynically <laughs> I will wind the shit out of you for making far too many videos but I, it is appreciated there you go You've got a soft side to me do you want to see some toys <laughs> is that what we're here for I don't know um the haul the purchases the haul from the haul uh let's go this guy's in front of me uh, you're going to see quite a few Unicron Trilogy bots. I think mostly Energon. Is that what they're called? It is, this was at a time that I wasn't really collecting or buying toys, as, as it could be called. So I bought this guy, I think he's Grulock, uh, the brownish version of him. He's a honorary Godzilla lizard man dinosaur does his drawer open it looks like it should open but uh it also looks like it's very short <laughs> from time so yeah got this guy from toy foo yeah, it's, um, it's toy foo foo purchase toy foo <laughs> toy foo <laughs> he does the videos um so also at the same time i bought this guy did i have this guy at the same time i think i bought this guy at the same time yeah and um, this is transformers animated sentinel prime in the road buster version the correct color version john grave this is magnus role-playing as road buster as the way he always wanted to um Right, another solid vehicle. As you can see, I've 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 just unpacked. I've I've, I've packed. I've you know I put them 
in vehicle mode. Well, John John Grieve actually transformed this for me because he is the expert. And I put them in vehicle mode put because it's easier to carry in my bag. And now we're talking about them. I could have transformed them, but we've not. Because the Transformers, they have like several modes. I don't know if you're aware of that. So that was Toy Free. So after that, I had a mooch around, went to the old Space Bridge. And the Space Bridge, I purchased this guy, who I was also going to call Sentinel Prime. It's not. It's Omega Prime, Omega Prime, um, Omega Lock, Sentinel Omega. It's old. It's the old Autobot guy. Uh, this is his universe coloration, uh, where they um, took the electrics out of his pants. So when you stuff a key in there, nothing happens. Um, but there you go. That's him. But he does have his sword, so and his gun. No missile. I don't care about missiles. I'm only losing. So yeah, we bought those, and at the same time, I bought this guy, who is another Energon guy, um, Cyber Planet Key guy, Speed Planet Junkie, Breakdown, uh, again, I just love the, um, the all kind of fast space car modes, these look like Cybertronic space cars, Transformers, War for Cybertron Siege designers. This is what space cars look like. Not the, um, hey, look at this. This is this is an Earth car that we're just going to pass off as a Cybertron car until we actually put the Earth bits in it so we can resell it later on as a different mold. Yeah. yeah that's a space car. It's quite cool. Quite cool, quite nifty. And then we had another purchase on the... Um, next day I bought, um, again, from Toy Fu. I feel like I'm missing something, but, I don't know, um, or I'm just getting things the wrong way around. This is, yeah, I might have bought, um, Crew Lock at the same time as I bought, um, Dark crumple zone i've been after this or at least a version of crumple zone for a while just not like mega mega like grail after but kind of like if i see one of these in the plastic and it doesn't cost too much i want to get one because he's again it's another amazing I mean, this is a very extensive retool for the dark crumple zone so i think i do prefer this one it's just an amazing kind of Batman-esque future space car. Uh, it's got the, you know, the big lots of translucent plastic, the big engines, and it just looks so sleek and cool. And he transforms into a really dumpy looking guy with the old He-Man trap jaw, jaw that, and very orcish as well at the same time. So yeah, that really appeals to a lot of my kind of favorite uh, design aesthetics in Transformers. Um, I did also buy a GoBot C-Wing uh, from Toy Fu, but I gifted it to a friend. So, and that said friend gifted me a Triceratops, because he knows I love Triceratopses. And there you go. So yeah, he's a cool little action master guy. I do already own one. I think the coloration on the horns might be slightly different. So I don't think there's, if there's a color versions, but he's also in the, the um, toxic orange plastic. But yeah, makes a little gun. So I could have a guy dual wielding triceratopses. It just needs a third arm so he can have a like triple wielding or in his mouth like uh, Zorro from One Piece. Booyah! So yeah, that is getting through a lot of the toys here. Um, yeah, my friend also gifted me at the same time. Uh, someone was making replica Cyber Planet keys, so he bought me this replica, like, coggy gold Cyber Planet key to go in Omega. It's not Omega. 
Vector, Vector Prime. Vector Prime. I know you've been putting it in the comments. You little eager bastards. I got there eventually. It's Vector Prime is the key to Vector Sigma. Yeah, so that goes in the... Well, yeah, in this version, the electronics have been gutted, so he doesn't get it out. Um, I've got a couple more. So, yeah, both crumple zone and breakdown came with the planet keys. And... John Grieve, Borders Dude, the man with impeccable hands, the Lost Proclaimer. Uh, he had some love eggs with him that was given out in the bar, and uh, he gave me a love egg. I opened it up, and there was Bot Bot Banzai in the Banzai is kind of my uh, probably my favourite character from the Bot Bot's cartoon. I think is that still on Netflix? Go check it out. It's 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 silly. Um, but yeah, I quite like Banza as a character. Uh, the character, the actual animation looks nothing like this. But <laughs> there you go. We've got a Banzai, it doesn't matter. We've got a Transformer that turns into a Banzai tree. What more do you want in life? Uh, from the guys at Starfleet Command. I don't know if that's what they call the stall. Um, well, they're always dressed as Starfleet. I bought this um, Mankey orangey yellowy to shit um power master optimus prime doesn't matter it was quite a bargain i just want the high q and some of the parts so i can now actually fix up my childhood one so i've got all the rest of it for it so that's just some missing parts and then i might do some funky stuff i might start making some kind of display with the parts for his base mode to make some kind of junk planet or something like that so it's a pro project that can be worked on after I've done the project of actually fixing the guy. And yeah, that is... Um, that is, we had the, 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 the program. There we go. And so yeah, then I went around the forge as well. So again, didn't get as much as usual. Because um, usually after some... Didn't really see any cool patches or fridge magnets or stuff like that. There was a few cool stickers, but I kind of... I'm kind of at my sticking point with stickers. So, here we go. But, yeah, we've got some big ones, though. <laughs> so, we've got this... Um, Transformers, more than meets the eye in the GoBots um, fonts. So, that's quite uh, cheeky, like that. Um... We've got a Toxitron in the Toxic Crusaders thing. That's another big sticker. Uh, I think the guy said that he, he'd ordered these stickers, but the um, he'd got the sizes wrong. So some of them were too big. So the, even the big ones are the same price as these other ones. So I bought a couple of big ones. I'm, yeah, I'm now so uh, let's see. And there's some I should have really written names on things because there's someone selling these little prints, and there was a wind blade. I've got to buy a wind blade, so there we go. That's pretty cool. I like the dynamic little ballet kind of pose that she has there over over the city. Quite like that. I like that. And what have we here? Ooh. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll this. So David Cousins had some prints. Uh, and on the Sunday night in 2022, 20, on the Sunday night, uh, Barry Shaw, Bazza, went around and he gave people uh, the, the little cards that you'd get, the little freebie cards you'd get in the one of the Transformers, not the Power, not the Studio Series, but... Maybe Galaxy, or some, one of these other, one of the Transformer lines that we've had, where you get those little cards with them. And it's basically, you know, pick one at random, and whatever you pick, you have to purchase something to do that character next year. And I picked a Shouticon card. So, I've been looking around, and... I bought this print from David Cousins, the adorable 
shark to come with a little crimson balloon. He just he's just living his best life. Look at him there. That is so cool. So cool. So yeah. I've got that. And Barry Shaw challenge complete. That's uh that's what we've got. What else do we have? Alright, okay, okay, okay. Well, let's put this over here. Lucan's Tees, Lucan's Tees. This isn't one that I bought this year, but in for a bit. I've just got these out of the wash. Because, <laughs> like, oh yeah, I better make a video. Where's the t shirts? Oh yeah, I'll put them in the wash. Uh, so we've got this Hail to the King, baby, uh, based on the Evil Dead franchise and the Transformers franchise. Uh, so we've got this nice big shirt from him. And I wanted another. Because of these, because it's my favourite one. And I love Jurassic Park and I love Transformers. So I bought yet another um, Jurassic Park Grimlock at the Gates t shirt. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Lucan's gang, the Lucan gang, Lord Lucan and his bunch of outlaws seem to be doing really well this year. Very pleased to see. Um, what else have we got in our bag of goodies? So, can I show this? Hmm. Hmm. We're not going to show this. I've bought a little print um, that I am gifting to my brother from Stephen Baskerville, the artist. Uh, he drawn, hand drawn me a G1 Transformers character. That's all we'll say. And I bought a couple of prints from Steve White, uh, semi-automatic Steve. And which one should we do first? Let's um, do this one first because this is not Transformers related. Uh, this is very kind of legend related. I don't know if you've seen that. So that's uh, like the Tim Curry's Devil. I think this is like the the black woman in the dress, or the woman in the black dress. And then there's various different goblins and furries folk and, and stuff around uh, the base. I don't think there's any of that cool troll, but uh, or any of them that are instantly recognisable as being, you know, members of the cast. But it's still really kind of amazing. So much detail. Really love that. Love that. And... The other one I got from him is this Dinobot print. So here's the Dinobots going through prehistoric Earth. Or the Savage Lands if you're if into the Marvel continuities. So yeah. It's like that. It's like that. Grimlock's got a little bird on his nose. It's so adorable. Uh, <laughs> and they're all like battle damaged and dirty and stuff like that. So I think it's... It's really, it's really just an amazing, and every time you look at it, you'll just pick out all the little details, which I really like about it, and the style, so yeah, that's another one. I have to try to get some frames and stuff to pull some of this stuff up. That's not all, so it's almost all. I also got a wee commission from Nick Roach, and... I wanted him to design, do uh, the Power of the Primes Dinobot Slash, but as if she was in IDW's Maximum Dinobots, and he's drawn me this. So let's love the fangs. Yeah, so we've got that. And that's pretty much my haul so far. So far, because sometimes when you're commissioning artwork from people, the artists kind of go, yeah, yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, but they sometimes realise they're a lot busier at the convention than they uh, plan to be and don't actually get around to finishing your art until afterwards. It just happens. Stuff happens. Conventions are very busy. And um, I think the, the, because there's this very welcoming and warm sense of community... Uh, TF Nation. Uh, both of them, you know, the main, you know, I say both, at most UK Transformers conventions, 
because um, TFUK is the same. You know, it's a very opening community. And so I think that they, you know, that time gets spent doing more community focused things than going like, ah, right, I've got all these commissions to work on. And because we're so, we don't mind really that if in a couple of weeks time, something that I've commissioned comes, comes through my letterbox, that's just going to be a little extra treat from me rather than being overwhelmed and making a extremely long video flashing you things. I should rephrase that. I'll get kicked off YouTube for that kind of behavior. Um, not that I mind not anymore. <laughs> let's, no, let's end it positively, Richard, shall we? End it in a positive note. Um, I had a cracking time at TF Nation. It was great to catch up with people. Uh, I just wish it could have been longer or I wish I had a bit more stamina. Uh, something I need to work on, really. Because it's, uh, you're in that spiral the old long vid and all that kind of business so just need to kind of work on that and hopefully be ready next year to bust some heads bust some heads but you know but you know what i mean to uh to be all i can be transformers till the next time be excellent to each other Party on dudes. Because you deserve it. How many people asked me to bump fists this year? I think a couple. I'm losing my touch. But I'm still going to touch you across the screens. Bisto! Fisto!